Janabek Alim Hanala. It's a fighter that has grabbed our attention and has a very bright future coming off the 2016 Olympic Games. And he has been very impressive, very heavy-handed, taking a bit of a fast track because of his amateur pedigree and what he's already been able to handle in the pro ranks. They weren't going to come out and admit that they were going to have a trouble, trouble because he was a southpaw, but you just got the sense that they weren't as confident going in this fight against the southpaw because they said, man, when oh, he hurt his arm. goes down. He hurt his arm. He, he, That's he, a knockdown. Six, he took a seven, knee. Eight, nine. He gets up at nine. Janabek oh. wails away, lands a solid left hand. Another one. Janabek in tight, that time in left uppercut. Martinez getting busier in this round, but Janabek answers with the straight left. And then looks at him yeah. and watches it. Now Janabek tees off. The uppercut was impressive. And he brings Martinez back to the middle of the ring. But, but he put it oh, in there. Oh, short oh. uppercut, left hand. That's that, that's that left back. uppercut. Left uppercut, he's been trying to work to get it all night. Martinez going to go on one of those. But I still think he's learning. Oh. And there's a left hand again. Now he's busy. Combination by Janabek. The corner is stopping the fight. And the fight. corner is stopping the fight. After Janabek exploded with a combination, and they don't feel their fighter, I guess, is offering enough resistance. Flush. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the last round we see Ono Winose. I'm seeing some blood. I don't know if Janabek has a little cut on the side of his eyebrow or if that's actually blood from Ono Winose. Ooh, good body shot. Dug that one deep. And a smile from Alim Hanuli. And that is a cut on the left eyebrow of Janabek. Doesn't look like it's too serious at the moment. I think Ono Winose is hurt to the body yeah, here. He's, he's taking some hard shots. Starting to actually show, yeah. show the punch. It was, it was that body shot earlier. Hernandez, referee, thinking about stepping in, look, taking a long look at Ono Lunose, who has not thrown a punch in quite some time. Yeah, now and now he takes a knee. Never quite recovered from that body shot. Now, now, and you see Ono Lunose looking to his corner. That's never a good sign. I wouldn't be surprised if he, if he stays down there. Yeah, he's looking to his corner, looking for help. You know, why let him continue to go at this point? No reason for him to continue. Yeah, it's not going to be much longer at all. Hernandez is at the ready to stop this fight. And Ono Lenose is done. That's enough. Caught in the corner. And Janabek Alim Hanuli, despite that late cut over the left eye, a dominating performance for his eighth victory in as many attempts. Good luck to you both. Janabek has McClellan sitting in the corner and says, come on, let's go, center of the ring. And McClellan walks to him with his hands behind his back. So then McClellan come out slapping. Over the hand, over the top with the left hand from McClellan. And then McClellan gets served a right hook. And a left hook follows. Oh, a big uppercut from Janabek Alim Kanuli puts McClellan down. As McClellan caught in the corner, this is a chance for Janabek to step on the gas pedal. Trying to stay undefeated, a 6 and 0 oh in his career so far, returning pro two years ago. <laughs> he asked me, was that punch good? What about this one? Huh? <laughs> Got more where that came from. There's the jab, a left-right combination. He's done. Janabek says, you good? Let's go. Another left hook, and McClellan is down for a second time in this fight. And he gets up on the count of eight, the corner of McClellan considering I told stopping the, the fight. I told the corner to stop it, man. They're looking, they looking at me, stop the fight. Fighter ain't got nothing else left. 20 seconds remaining in the fifth. 
hunched over. McClellan has nothing to give. And the corner from McClellan is about to stop this fight. Left hooks. And Rudy Badagan, before the towel could get thrown in, stops the fight with just seconds to go here in the fifth. Janovic looked at him like... <laughs> I like fighters like that. Well, whether it was the corner or the referee, both have the same idea in yeah. mind, and that was to end the night for Stuart McClellan. All times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say you must obey. Good luck. Touch him up. Touch him up. Well, they're kind of like closing that gap. You know, even catching some of these punches, Dre, there is damage done. And um, clearly affected. Oh, he gets snapped back with a straight left hand. That's what he's doing. Looking for openings. Trying to create the opening just by shooting the jab outside. Oh, he hurt. It's Look at that uppercut. And down he goes. Knockdown scored here in round three. <laughs> Looking for that uppercut there, Timmy, as they opened up. There's that thudding left hand that sends him down back. Lima, yep, there, oh, there it is. is. There's that left yeah. uppercut. End up tries to shake it off. Left hand, sharp shooting, backs him up into that corner. And here comes the combination punching from Janabek Alim Hanala. Endom's head snaps back and he survives it. That's it. They're going to call this fight. Endom saying, no, no, no. But I think his face is saying yes, yes, yes. I don't even think Corey landed a shot yet, Tim. How does he know he doesn't have? So oh, there's a big left hand from Alim Hanala that scores the knockdown with a minute to go here in round one. Seven. As soon as Corey opens up right there, he leads with his head and Alim Hanala just times him. He doesn't really make a major move, he just turns it over. And the impact of the punch and from Korea rushing in like that gave the type of impact. Wow. Oh. Another big shot there with the left hand. He's hurt. But look at it was as Korea was throwing a shot, he found the opening. Oh, and there's a short right hand and a devastating knockdown. Puts him under the bottom rope. He is laid out face down. It's over. You got to warm up in the dressing room, especially if you haven't been in the ring in over a year. And Aleem Hanala set up his offense, punching in between. Like I said, he has he's great in transition. He's able to find offense in between the eye of the storm. As you can see, Coria throwing punches. He's throwing shots, and he's throwing them back. But... Just the scene precision and the concentration that Aleem Anala has is fantastic. Fantastic boxing ability. I believe that he's, I believe he could be ready. I really, I like what I saw tonight from him.